Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next parameter which is soil. So soil is a very important uh, component because it is important not only for the growth of plants. Can you ever think of uh, having trees all around you without soil? No, because soil is the main reservoir of minerals, nutrients and water for the plants. So that is one important role which soils play. Besides that, soil is also home for a lot of living organisms like earthworms, tiny insects and a lot of creatures live in, within the soil. So it is a home for a lot of organisms. So that means we find that soil is extremely important. First, for the growth of plants because plants receive their minerals, nutrients, water, everything from the soil. And all other organisms depend on plant for their food, either directly or indirectly. So a lot of organisms directly feed on plants, for example, the herbivores, goats, cows, uh, uh, then deer, so they all directly feed on plants, whereas some other animals which feed on animals are indirectly dependent on plants. Secondly, it helps to retain water the roots of the plants. So they tend to hold the soil tightly because of which it helps to retain water, hold roots of the plant. Now the soil helps to give structural support to the plants. Plants remain stable at one place because the soil holds their roots to them. Provide shelter to many organisms like earthworms, several insects, tiny organisms which live in the soil. So soil in itself is a kind of ecosystem where different types of organisms live and interact with each other. Now when you talk about the types of soil, there are many different types of soil which exist. So on what basis do we classify soil into different types? So that's an important uh, concept because you know uh, how do we know that uh, which soil is of which type because I was telling some time back right that the soil in a desert is very much different from the soil in a forest. So if you look at the texture of the soil, you can feel the presence of particles, both small and big. So if you look at it very closely, you feel it with your own hands, you will feel the presence of particles in the soil. Some particles are small while the other are, others are big. So size of the particles decide many properties of the soil. So how many, what is the proportion of particles of different sizes decides the soil classification. So basically what we see is how many, how many big particles are present, how many small particles are present. So depending upon the proportion, we divide soil into three major types. Now the question is, how does the so particle size matter? So particle size play a very important role because the size of the particle decides a lot of properties of the soil. For example, how much water the soil will hold, how much water the soil will allow to pass through it. So all these things are determined by the size of the particles which make the soil. So now the, the particles could be extremely small in size where they are very closely packed to each other like this. The particles could be medium sized with medium spaces between them or the particles could be big in size with larger spaces between them. So if the particles are big then the spaces of empty spaces between the particles would also be big. If the particles are small then the empty spaces would also be small so that's the general logic. Now any soil is made up of mixture of particles, some big, some small, some medium sized. So depending upon how much big, how much small and how much medium sized particles are present, soil has been divided or soil has been classified into three types. So the three types are sandy soil, clay soil and loamy soil. So these are the three major types of soil. So let's talk about each of them one by one. So starting with sandy soil, so it has greater proportion of big particles. So it has more big particles than small particles. As you can see here, the number of big particles are more when compared to the small ones. Clay soil, it has greater proportion of fine particles than the big particles. In this case, you have more small particles. So sandy soil is something which is found in the desert. So when you touch it with your hands, you can feel the presence of big particles. 
and the third type is loamy soil which has equal proportion of big and fine particles so if it has four big particles then it will also have four small particles so these are the three categories of soil so now let me tell you how this proportion of particle size affect the properties of each type of soil so now look at the sandy soil composition so here what happens since you have more proportion of big particles so there are a lot of uh, empty spaces in between the particles so therefore the sandy soil do not retain enough water because the particles are very big so they do not fit closely together so water easily drain quickly through the spaces between the sand particles since lot of empty spaces exist between the big particles so water passes down through these empty spaces so these soils are poor in holding good amount of water so generally this type of soil is dry they do not they are not wet kind of soil and therefore it is the worst type of soil for plant growth because plant needs lot of water because plant, the minerals and nutrients needed by the plants are also present dissolved in water so if there is less water contained in the soil so it is definitely not good for plants so this type of soil that is sandy soil is generally dry and this is the one which you find in the desert the next type is the clay soil so here the since the particles are small so they are like quite closely packed together so there is little space on almost like very little spaces between the particles so therefore it is like it is the densest soil so you can say that it is the densest of all the three types of soil and therefore it retains large amount of water so it retains so much of water that whenever you i mean touch clay soil you will, you can feel that it is wet but at the same time it has an it has a disadvantage now because of its high density it is difficult for moisture and air to penetrate through it so very less air is present because everywhere it is like kind of clogged with water so it doesn't have enough space for air to penetrate through the soil so this wet clay is difficult to garden as it is very heavy ferns and some other plants can grow on clay soil so we would not say that plants cannot grow a lot of plants can grow uh, however this type of soil is most suitable for pottery making because for pottery making you need wet soil so this soil is kind of wet so and therefore it is useful in pottery making and also for the growth of certain types of plants and the third one that is loamy soil it is a mixture of sand clay humus and silt so basically it is a mixture of sand clay humus silt so if you see sand that is basically the particles of sandy soil clay soil plus humus which improves the fertility of the soil so this uh, this soil contains the right amount of water and nutrients and it is the best type of soil for plant growth so loamy soil is best for plant growth so most of the plants can grow on loamy soil so it has exact specific composition may vary but if compost is added to it that is it so it, it that would make it the best soil so let us quickly look at the properties of different soil soil types now as i was telling sandy soil it do not retain enough water because there are a lot of empty spaces now since there are a lot of empty spaces it is well aerated that is air has space to remain there it is just the opposite with clay soil little air but it holds a lot of water because uh, you know the gaps between them is very tiny so water cannot pass through it so a lot of water is cold loamy soil contains the right amount of air and the right amount of water sandy soil weight wise is light clay soil is heavy because it is wet it contains water so obviously it is the densest and the heaviest loamy is perfect for growth of most of the plants so this is how the appearance of the three types of soil would be here bigger particles will bigger with bigger empty spaces smaller particles with smaller spaces in between and here you have both kind of particles so sandy soil is seen in desert clay soil is best suitable for pottery making and for certain plants like ferns and loamy soil is suitable for most of the plants thank you 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.